This struggling couple, who happens to be in a tumultuous relationship, wins a million dollars in the lottery. Their relationship takes a new turn when they try different ways to kill each other. A crazy advice they take from their friends in order to get the money. Let's all find out how this couple handle this kind of stress. Hey guys, welcome back to I Am Movies. Today we're looking into the 2024 film called Kill Me If You Dare. But before we jump into the details, be aware there are spoilers. Now let's get right into it. The movie begins with a couple, Piotr and Natalia. Piotr is a frugal man who lives most of his life looking for cheap ways to pay for almost anything, and most times he relies on coupons. Natalia, on the other hand, doesn't like her husband's frugal lifestyle, but she just lives with it because she loves him. Piotr works as a marketing agent for an insurance company that is partly owned by his high school ex-girlfriend Dagmara. Natalia, on the other hand, works in a small art advertising company with her childhood friend and colleague, Agata. On the couple's fifth wedding anniversary, Piotr being himself takes Natalia to a cheap restaurant for lunch and even uses coupons to buy their food. Natalia complains to Piotr about it, stating how uncomfortable she is with his lifestyle. However, he hands her a flower and an electric irons to compensate her as anniversary gifts. Moments later, they decide to have fun on a carousel, and this is where an old scratch card seller lady tries to sell them one. After much persuasion, they both agree to buy a $10 scratch card which Piotr later pays for using most of Natalia's money. Later Natalia gets back to work where she meets her friend Agata, who had always belittled Piotr for being a frugal person. Meanwhile, Natalia and Agata don't seem to like their job as they had both dreamed of owning a cafe gallery while they were younger. At the same time, Piotr spends time with his childhood friend Lukas, an ambitious solo musician. However, the company CEO Dagmara summons Piotr and reveals to him that the company board will be cutting down on work bonuses. However, Dagmara seductively tells Piotr about her new idea called Safe Vacation Insurance, which she intends to kickstart with his help, stating that it would enable him to earn more. Also, Dagmara hands Piotr a $1 million life insurance policy for Natalia as a wedding anniversary gift. Later that evening, as Piotr and Natalie return home, they meet their neighbor Bodgan, a locksmith who sells and installs safe deposit boxes. Bogdan tries to convince them to buy a safe from him, stating that the other neighbors bought theirs from him but Piotr declines his offer. However, Bodgan boastfully talks about taking his wife Angela to Zanzibar for their third vacation. Feeling jealous, Natalia tells Piotr how much she would love to go on a vacation and also get a breast implant like Angela. Piotr tells Natalia that they can't afford a vacation yet and that she doesn't need a breast implant because she's perfect just the way she is. However, Natalia feels Piotr is only trying to avoid spending on her, and she soon begins to become grumpy towards him. The next morning, Natalia wakes up to the sound of Piotr's scream and rushes to meet him, only to find her husband staring weirdly in shock. Thinking he might be having a seizure, Natalia tries to provide first aid to him. However, Piotr excitedly tells Natalia that they've just won $1 million. Later that day, Piotr calls Natalia and tells her that he has figured out where they can invest their money further, suggesting they put some of the money in a fund and use the rest to buy a house. However, Natalia suggests that they invest the money in her dream coffee shop, but Piotr tells her it's a high-risk investment. Seeing that they both have different plans, Natalia ends the call, pretending to have a bad reception. Afterward, Natalia confronts her boss for looking down on her and she instantly quits her job alongside her friend Agata. After a while, Natalia breaks the $1 million news to Agata, and she screams with excitement. With this, Natalia tells Agata that they'll now be able to afford their own coffee shop, adding that she'll be getting two-thirds of the money since she contributed more. Moments later, they go shopping, buying as many items as they can. Soon, Natalia spots a corner shop which she'd always wanted, but she realizes that it has already been rented out to another person. With this, Natalia approaches the owner and offers to pay more and even add an advance payment of three months, which he agrees. Meanwhile, Piotr meets with Lucas during his lunch break, telling him how his relationship with Natalia is getting worse by the day, especially now that they have money. Lucas asks Piotr where they got money from, and Piotr tells him how they'd both won $1 million from a scratch card. On hearing this, Lucas screams with excitement, as he could not believe his ears. Later that evening, Natalia gets home and quickly hides everything she bought in her closet. Here, she then reveals to Piotr that she quit her job, adding that she already paid rent for her coffee shop. Afterward, she realizes that Piotr had gone to receive their winnings alone in cash, and she asks him why. Piotr explains to Natalia that it's the safest way, as he uses example of traveling separately in an airplane, citing the possibility of an incident where one partner has to stay alive. With this, Natalia begins to suspect foul play, thinking that Piotr might be plotting something sinister. Subsequently, Natalia asks Piotr where he plans to store the cash, 
and they finally decide to patronize Bodgan afterward. Bodgan installs the safe, and gives them the safe's manual and two separate keys. Afterward, Pyotr and Natalia both deny telling anyone about the money, even though they'd both told their best friends. Afterward, Pyotr tells Natalia that he already fixed a faulty socket in their bathroom and asks her to go try it. However, as soon as Natalia plugs her hairdryer, the socket sparks causing a mild electrocution. Days later, while having lunch, Natalia jokingly tells Agata about the electrocution, and Agata begins to suggest that Pyotr is already plotting to kill her. Moments later, Agata spots Pyotr and Dagmara walking into the same restaurant to grab lunch. Natalia believes it's just work lunch, but Agata insists that they spy on them to know what they might be discussing. So Agata decides to quickly sneak her phone onto their chef's food trolley to record their conversation. However, the chef mistakenly pours water on Agata's phone, prompting Natalia to quickly intervene to sneak the phone away as she pretends to introduce herself to Dagmara. After listening to the recording where Piotr tells Dagmara that everything in his past will soon become obsolete and subsequently die, they begin to suspect that Piotr may be planning to start a new life with her. With this, Agata suggests that her instincts were right after all, and advises Natalia to search their room for evidence of his affairs. Back at home, Natalia looks through every document, and she discovers a $1 million life insurance plan that Dagmara had gifted Piotr. Later that evening, Natalia fearfully calls Agata to inform her about the life insurance plan, stating that Piotr will only be able to get the money once she is dead. Agata advises Natalia to try surviving the night by being one step ahead of Piotr, but Natalia mentions killing him in his sleep. However, Piotr overhears the conversation. At bedtime, Natalia hides a knife under her pillow in an attempt to stab Piotr in his sleep. However, she falls asleep and ends up exposing the knife, leaving Piotr in shock. The next morning, Natalia begins to search for the knife and she soon realizes that she has been exposed, as she could not find the knife. Later, Piotr tells Lucas about how Natalia had planned to kill him, and Lucas suggests that he file a report with the police. Moments later, Dagmara interrupts their conversation and hands Piotr a couple's reservation card for a resort in the mountains. Dagmara reveals to him that she's just closed a new deal with the resort on her new safe vacation insurance policy, and she wants Piotr to go handle it. Suspecting that Natalia might try to strike during the vacation, Lucas offers to be his guide. Later that day, Natalia returns home to find her husband cooking, which he never does, and she suspiciously watches as Piotr plays around with kitchen knives. Afterward, Piotr offers her grilled meat, and later pours her cup of red wine while insisting on taking beer because of his allergy to red wine. Subsequently, Natalia spots a toxic container lying around, and it further raises her suspicion. However, she manages to distract Piotr and quickly pours the wine away. Afterward, Piotr decides to surprise Natalia with the resort reservation as their anniversary gift, but she soon begins to fidget, thinking he is about to pull out a gun. Later, Natalia tells Agata about the vacation and how Piotr has been romantic to her. On hearing this, Agata insists that Piotr has just been cunning and that he is plotting to kill her during the vacation. On the day of the vacation, Natalia insists on driving, which is something she never does. However, Piotr agrees to let her drive, but first asks her to go get his emergency adrenaline kit. Shortly after, Bodgun asks Piotr if they are going on a vacation, and he answers yes. Piotr finally hands over the keys to Natalia, and they soon get on their way. While going up to the resort, Piotr pushes their suitcase uphill and at some point loses it, causing it to slide downhill toward Natalia. However, Natalia manages to escape getting hit by it, and she suspiciously asks Piotr if he's trying to kill her. Piotr and Natalia arrive at the resort's presidential suite, which comes with an all-inclusive plan featuring activities like hiking, rock climbing, and skydiving. Moments later, a man walks into their suite and introduces himself as Christian, a paramedic survival specialist and their personal trainer. Although Piotr seems not to be aware of the arrangements for a personal guide, he plays along as Christian tells them that they'll be having a hike the next morning. However, Natalia tries to convince Piotr not to go for the hike due to his allergies, but he insists on going, stating that he paid for them because he wants to partake. Later that day, Lucas tells Piotr that Natalia must have planned the hike to kill him, but Piotr reminds him that Natalia didn't even know about the trip before. However, Lucas insists that Natalia must have found out about the vacation earlier. On the other hand, Agata convinces Natalia that Piotr has plans to kill her during the hike, stating that the mountains are great spots for murder. At this point, the couple separately agree to let their friends guard them secretly as they go for the hike. Meanwhile, that evening, Agata meets Lucas at the resort bar, and as they get to know each other, it appears they have so much in common. Moments later, they soon begin to catch feelings and they both end up having an affair. The following day during the hike, Piotr mistakenly offers Natalia posenous berries, but Christian manages to stop her from eating them. Subsequently, Christian peers each couple to help each other climb the rock. Natalia volunteers to climb first while Piotr stays below to help her hold the rope. 
However, as she begins to climb, Piotr gets distracted by Lucas' call, and he mistakenly lets go of the rope, causing Natalia to fall freely but Christian manages to save her. Afterward, Piotr blames Lucas for the incident, and reassures him that Natalia is not trying to kill him. However, Lucas manages to convince him otherwise, citing Natalia's desire to go skydiving with him as a means to end his life. Piotr believes Lucas, stating that Natalia knows he's afraid of heights but still insists that they go skydiving together. With this, Lucas comes up with a new plan to kill Natalia by getting her drunk during dinner and spraying lotion on the bathroom floor so she can slump and die. At the same time, Agata and Natalia also discuss ways to kill Piotr using his food allergies like wine and almonds. Agata's plan is for Natalie to switch Piotr's sliced garlic for almonds during dinner, stating that they both look alike when sliced. After realizing that only a person with an adrenaline med kit can help Piotr during any of his allergic reactions, Agata advises Natalia to bring an empty syringe to the dinner. Later that night, while Piotr tries to get Natalia drunk, she attempts to switch the garlic in his food for almonds. At this time, Agata tries to seduce one of the chefs to make sure that the garlic is switched, but she later realizes that he's just an imposter. On the other hand, Lucas sneaks into their apartment to put lotion on the bathroom floor according to their plan. Meanwhile, as they begin to eat, Piotr makes sure that Natalia drinks quite a lot of alcohol. Moments later, Piotr begins to choke, but as Natalia rushes over to inject him, he stops her and tells her that he's only got something stuck in his throat. On their back to their room, Agata reaches out to a drunk Natalia with their signature sound, and Natalia tells Piotr that she needs to get ice from the bar. With this, Natalia goes to meet with Agata and blames her for not switching the garlic. However, Agata promises to make it up to Natalia by tampering with the parachute that Piotr will be using to skydive the following day, but Natalia disagrees. On her way back, she overhears Piotr and Lucas discussing their plans to kill her in the bathroom, and she angrily calls Agata to go ahead with her previous plans, adding that Piotr is not alone. However, it is at this point that Agata realizes that she's been with the same man who has been plotting to kill Natalia. As soon as Natalia gets back to the suite, she attempts to enter the bathroom, but Piotr stops. He tries to get rid of the lotion, but he slips instead. Later that night, Agata seductively gets information from Lucas in an attempt to know their next move. Afterward, Agata realizes that Lucas and Piotr are planning to kill Natalia in the sauna, and she immediately texts Natalia to warn her. The next morning, Piotr invites Natalie to the sauna, but he soon realizes that she must have gotten a clue, and he immediately texts Lucas to abort the plan. During the sauna session, Natalia excuses herself, and Lucas, who hadn't read his messages yet, increases the sauna's heat to the highest point. Moments later, Agata goes to meet Natalia to celebrate, but Natalia rushes back to the sauna to save Piotr, but she finds it empty. It appears that Piotr had managed to escape the sauna. After this, he warns Lucas to quit bringing up murder plans. The next day, Piotr, seeing how bad things are turning, reassures Natalia of the love he has for her and the two soon make up for lost time as they both decide to enjoy the rest of the trip together. While taking a walk through the woods, they come across a cabin for rent, and Natalia tells Piotr that she imagines them spending the rest of their lives in it. The next morning, Piotr tells Natalia that he has a surprise for her and leaves to grab a coffee. Shortly after, the service phone rings, and as soon as Natalia receives it, she realizes that Piotr has just rented out the cabin for them to spend the rest of their vacation. Moments later, Natalia reads a message from Dagmara on Piotr's phone that suggests that they are having an affair. As soon as Piotr returns to the room, he realizes that Natalia is gone after reading a letter from her that says, The money is now yours. Say hi to Dagmara. With this, Piotr decides to leave the resort but Christian confronts him and reminds him of the skydiving session. Piotr tells him that he didn't book the session, but Christian believes he's scared. On hearing this, Piotr decides to go for the skydiving session to prove him wrong. Meanwhile, as the new lovers, Lucas and Agatha, take a walk through the mountain, they come across wild sorrel weeds, and they both begin to munch on them for fun. Moments later, they both begin to hallucinate, suggesting to themselves that Piotr and Natalia used them and that they must get revenge. Meanwhile, Dagmara meets Natalia at the bus stop, where she's waiting to catch a bus home. Natalia confronts Dagmara about having an affair with Piotr. After hearing Natalia's rant, Dagmara soon realizes that there is a mix-up, and she explains to Natalia that Piotr had just resigned to spend time with her, adding that it's the reason why she'd come to talk him out of it. With this, Dagmara and Natalia begin to look for Piotr. They learn that he's at the airfield and rush down there, but it is too late. Natalia watches Piotr's flight take off, as he finally goes on a 35,000-foot skydiving session. Piotr successfully completes the skydiving session, and happily reunites with his wife. Meanwhile, Lucas and Agata continue to search for the couple as they are now hell-bent on getting vengeance. First, they check out their presidential suite, but they soon realize that they have moved to the cabin. Lucas and Agata find their way to the cabin with weapons. Soon, they begin to violently attack the couple as they demand money. After struggling for a while, Piotr and Agata manage to get rid of them by pushing them down from the cabin's second floor. 
Days later, as Piotr and Natalia return home, they learn that Bodgen had emptied valuables from all the safe he installed in the neighborhood, including theirs. The following day, the couple visit Agatha and Lucas in the hospital, where they realize that the wild weed they took was actually Jimson weed, and it was the cause of their violent nature. Piotr and Natalia forgive them, but also decide to punish them first. Several months after, Piotr and Natalia, who are now heavily pregnant, go to the same spot they both buy their first scratch card, and the same woman offers them another one, but they both reject it with smiles on their faces, showing that the couple has learned their lessons. And this is where our story ends. If you'd like to see us recap any other movies or topics you have in mind, just drop a comment and let us know. And don't forget to hit the like button, share this recap, and subscribe to stay updated for the next one. Until next time.